guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Rose and today I am going to do my makeup with paint brushes and if you want to see how I do my makeup with paint brushes go ahead and keep on watching to do five things first subscribe down below hit that big red button second hit the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video third give that video a big thumbs up fourth comment down below to be part of next week dedicated fan and last but not least follow all my socials my Facebook my Instagram and my Twitter all at Rose Medics and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video Zoomed in, Rose is back. Hello. Now we're going to look at these brushes. So, my brother told me to clean them, but yeah, yeah. So we have 15 brushes. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but so we have 15 brushes numbered from 1 to 15 and I have these five extra brushes um, right here I have five extra brushes and I have this sponge right here but I'm not gonna use this sponge because I know my brother is gonna kill me if I put foundation on this sponge so I won't be using that although I could use it but I'll use a brush instead yeah now the first thing I always do is prime my face so I'm gonna use the Mac prep and prime natural radiance water break face is primed the next thing I always do is um, eyebrows the brush I normally would use for my brow is this one. Y'all don't mind my nail, okay? Cause I was at work and I was fixing like the inventory stuff and it chipped off all my nail polish, like opening new boxes and everything. So yeah, that that's what happened. I need an angled brush, but we have a problem because all the angled brushes are huge <laughs> compared to that one. So yeah, we might have a little problem. This started off great. I don't know what to do. This is gonna be weird, y'all. Let me grab my mirror. This is gonna be very weird. I'm gonna use my MAC eyeliner gel um, in the shade Black Track. Ah, I'm scared. Yeah. Okay, ready guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can I use a pencil instead? I'm already messing up, y'all. Ooh, ooh, that's rough. That's rough, that's very rough. Okay. I'm not this bad at doing brows, okay guys? I'm just, I'm just putting that out there. It's just that this brush is huge. I have to fix this one. But this one doesn't look too bad, y'all. Mm-mm. Okay. Okay, sis. What I usually do next is concealer. So, I need like a small brush that's like... I think I'm gonna do this round one. Because it has like a roundish tip and I feel like I can... Um, clean it clean my brows off with it. So I'm gonna put the okay, so I put the concealer on there just a little dab Y'all this is super hard and then I'm going to Try to fix the other brow that I messed up Y'all comment down below if you've ever used like a paintbrush to do your makeup because this is my first time using a paintbrush to do my makeup and I don't know man 
like if you've like accidentally used a paintbrush to do your makeup or something. So I put my concealer like in between the brow because I'm supposed to use a spoolie but a spoolie is technically a brush. So like I can't use it because there's no spoolies there. You can't use you don't use spoolies for painting. So I'm just like putting the concealer, leftover concealer in front of my brow to make it look more realistic because I can't use the spoolie. This is what I've achieved. I might end up having crooked brows by the end of this, but it's okay. And if you hear the, a fan in the background, it's because it's it's dumb hot, y'all. It's dumb hot. So I had to put it on. While I'm doing the, my concealer, I'm realizing that... Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm realizing that doing it with a paintbrush is not that bad because... Because, like, the paintbrush is dense. So like it's like strong so then I can do the sharp lines with it. I mean I it's not bad like but I have a feeling I like this one better. I don't know. I don't know. But like this brush is like huge so I can't get into like the crevices. 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 That's the only thing. If I had this brush smaller, it would have been great. So these are the brows I've accomplished. They're not bad. I've done better, but you know, staring at the camera like straight in front of me and I realized that this brow is like way higher than this one. It's gonna stay like this, like sis, it's gonna stay like this. Oops, oops. Okay, so next, what I usually do next is should I do eyeshadow, y'all? That would be a challenge. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. Okay, okay. Okay, so, you know how paintbrushes, I have the acrylic paintbrushes. I don't have the watercolor paintbrushes. Watercolor paintbrushes and acrylic paintbrushes are very different. Um, acrylic paintbrushes are like, they're dense um, because like they don't soak in all of the paint, if I'm saying that right. From my art teacher, I remember kind of she told me that acrylic paintbrushes don't soak up the paint and they also come in like the the body well my art school when i was in my art class the bodies were different colors so yeah these don't soak in like liquids that's what it's supposed to do not soak in liquids and then the watercolor paintbrushes or the fluffy paintbrushes those ones kind of like they it has to like suck in the water and the ink so you can do the watercoloring with it so yeah that I don't have watercolor paintbrushes, I have acrylic paintbrushes. If you guys want me to, to do my face with watercolor paintbrushes, let me know in the comments down below. I'll buy some and I'll do my face with it to see how it goes. But yeah, so I have the acrylic ones, so I don't have any fluffy brushes. Like there you go, there you go. This one is a this one is a um watercolor brush because you see how oops right here. You see how fluffy this is? This is fluffy compared to how this one is. It's like more dense. And it's also a different color. So yeah, the watercolor brushes usually come in brown. That's a little art 101. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. That's what I was told. But yeah, I can't find any like, I feel like I can use this for like concealer. So I'm not gonna use that. So I, I have, hmm, this is gonna be hard, y'all. So I, these are the only like round-ish brushes I have. These are, these are the only round-ish brushes I have. So we'll see. I feel like I should just do like a simple like. I don't know. Okay, I'm going okay. to apply some concealer because I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. Uh, what's the brush I was gonna use? I'm gonna use this one. The level of concentration when I try to do a zoomed in shot, I can't even. Y'all should see my face in the background every time. Mmm. Okay, so these brushes apply liquids very well. I really like that. Y'all, I might just buy a couple paint brushes and put them in my paint and my brushes collection. Like, what? They're really good. Like, if you need a dense brush, get you an acrylic brush, y'all. 
I thought this was gonna be bad, but I'm kind of liking this. I like this challenge. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the pink that I had before from Huda Beauty Electric Obsession, and I'm gonna do my eyeliner type thing with it. Basically, I stamped it on because I want full pigment. Okay, so this looks so washed out on camera. Like, it's not giving you the true colors. Like, y'all, this is popping. It's popping. Okay, so eyeshadow work is done. I'm really loving it. Like, I can see the end product. So now for the big thing, foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NW55. And I'm going to grab this big brush. Okay, so this brush helps me get into like the crevices that I want to get to. So I really like that. This hurts my soul. I cannot use my beauty blender. So what do you guys think of the foundation um, application? That's the word. Foundation application. I think it's really good. Even though the brush was a little dense and rough, it looks really good. So I'm going to take concealer in that same old brush that I use for my eyes. And I'm going to put some... Concealer on top. Oop, too much, too much, too much, too much. Wow, I definitely put way too much. How the hell am I gonna blend this? This is too much, y'all. I put too much. <laughs> See if I had a beauty blender right now. Oh, a lifesaver, but what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? The only thing with acrylic brushes is that it's not gonna blend perfectly. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this line. Like, why did I do this, y'all? Why am I doing this, y'all? Okay, so for the big one under the eyes, let me just wipe this off again. The brush is not supposed to um, hold the product. It's not supposed to so um, absorb the product. That's the word, absorb. So if it's not absorbing it, then it's staying on top of it, right? So if it's on top of it, I'm just gonna wipe it off. If that makes any the if that makes any sense. <sighs> okay, I, this is how it's gonna have to be. <laughs> this is how it's gonna have to be. So I'm gonna use my MAC powder in the shade 68 Deep Mocha. And with this brush, I grab the powder. Oh my God, that's a lot of powder. Okay, okay. Wow, this is so patchy. Oh no. makeup application is so harsh like everything is just like blunt there's no smooth edges look at this y'all look at this I'm gonna use this brush for my highlight cuz it looks cute or whatever and it looks like a fan brush so I don't want to ruin my Juvia's palette so I'm just gonna go in my profusion um, highlight palette and I'm just gonna use those colors because this one's already ruined but my um, Juvia's is brand new so I'm not trying to ruin that one I just have a straight line on my face y'all ooh but it looks great for eyebrows though 
Oh, look at that drip. Ready, ready, ready? Drip, drip. Okay, it did not apply the highlight bad, but it's just like, it's so blunt that it's just like, it's okay, you know? Yeah, it just like looks like a, and then a, so, be it, be it, it. Okay, so I want to do an inner corner highlight, and I'm going to use this brush that won't show up on camera. Come on, sister. This brush to do my inner corner highlight. I'm going to pick the lightest shade in my Profusion palette, and I'm just going to dab it into my inner corner. It's almost like a white, a white like shimmer. Oh my God, do you see that fallout? Cause I use like a dense brush. The fallout is crazy. Okay, so there's fallout. So normally I would grab my fan brush to take it out, but I can't use my normal fan brush. So I guess I'm gonna have to use this one. It did the work. It did the work. It was supposed to. Should I put lipstick or just lip gloss, y'all? That was it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe down below. Um, hit the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Comment down below to be part of the dedicated fan. Um, of the next video and follow me on all my socials my facebook my twitter and my instagram all at rosemedics and i hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye